The best thing to do is obviously to prepare the day before. Um, we know what the forecast is going to be, so it shouldn't be that hard to do. And what I have here is four items that I'm just gonna uh, bring to your attention, and you can take these out of the cupboard and prepare them the night before. The first thing is uh, sunblock. So <clears throat> I wrote these little cards too. I don't know if you can see that. So you wanna apply the sunblock um, to your skin, and it doesn't really matter if you tan or don't tan. The main purpose of the sunblock or sunscreen is to keep your skin cool. <clears throat> And I recommend getting the sunblock, particularly for your face, because as you're riding your bike and uh, you're perspiring, you don't want the, your eyes to sting from uh, lotion that maybe isn't um, created particularly for that purpose. Also sports, a sports sunscreen is, is the best way to go. And then <clears throat> the next tip that we want to give you in how to prepare is think about, think about ventilation. Uh, ventilation light clothes, <laughs> light colors, loose clothes, not what I'm wearing. I'm actually very hot in this. So lighter colors, loose clothes, uh, e even uh, uh, sh uh, sleeveless. <clears throat> in terms of helmets, uh, we like the, the road helmets. And one of the main reasons why we like the road helmet is because it has so many vents. I'm not really too familiar with the um, skate helmets or uh, the urban helmets that look more like the roller derby type. If someone can inform me on how that works on these hot days, is there, are they cool? They seem, they seem really hot to me. Um, but please, if you know something like that and you can inform us, just put it in the comments. I'd, I'd really appreciate that. Um, the other thing that you wanna remember uh, is to wear um, sunglasses. You wanna be able to uh, remove the glare and also you want protection from the dust that's going to pop up and then stick to your sweaty skin. <clears throat> so sunglasses are, are uh, I, I think, a must, particularly on hot days. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that we're going to talk about is water bottles. Uh, so if you have one or two or three cages on your bike, just fill them all up with water bottles. The night before, what you want to do is uh, fill definitely one up to the top with water and then put it in your freezer and so that it freezes overnight. And then the second one, you can fill up halfway with water and then put that in the freezer. And the next morning, when you're ready to go out for your ride, fill the rest of this bottle with running water so that as you are riding in the morning, you can take sips of this and it'll keep it cool. And this one <coughs> will stay cool for you as it melts throughout your ride. There's nothing worse than hot water in a plastic container on a hot day. So that's actually works out really well. The other thing I don't know about is the hydration pack. So if you guys know more information about hydration packs and you can let us know how that works, that, that would be awesome. Uh, do you put ice in the hydration packs? Um, do you freeze them? How, how does that work? Love to know. And then um, we have this last tip is to carry a bandana. So the bandana is great um, to obviously wipe the sweat off, but also if you're hot, um, you just douse it with some water. And, and this is kind of key, either from your water bottle or from a bodega or a water fountain. And then large areas of your skin, just cool down large areas of your skin with the wet bandana. You could also wring it over your head, do your arms, your legs, your chest for sure, arms and legs for sure, large body parts. And then when that dries off, make sure you reapply your sunscreen. And lastly, what we want to do is to make sure, if you, if you can, is to bring uh, extra clothing. So uh, undergarments as well as a top. And the reason for this is that once you get to your destination, whether it's work or a social gathering or um, uh, anything else, you want to be able to change your upper upper part on the garment as well as your shirt so that while you are in an air condition or, or, or a still state that you are not sitting with this wet shirt. Um, particularly if you are in air conditioning, it's going to cause your, your back to muscles to spasm. So as soon as you can get <laughs> into a restroom, be sure to um, change into dry clothes and you should be set to go. <coughs> so just for a recap, I'll bring up my, my cards here. We want to apply sunscreen, sports sunscreen, and you want to get uh, sunscreen for the face and for the body. 
Um, and then also think about ventilation, ventilation of your helmet, ventilation of your clothing, light clothing, loose clothing. That's going to work out really great for you. In terms of hydration, make sure you freeze water bottles. Um, if you have water bottles, freeze them the night before. Hydration packs, I'd love more information about that. I really don't know how that works. <coughs> and then make sure that you bring a bandana and extra clothing so that you can cool yourself down, wipe sweat off with the bandana, and then switch out into dry, clean clothing when you get to where you need to be. I hope that helps. Please let me know and uh, have a great weekend. Ciao.